This episode brought to you by these awesome patrons and members. Using Neethernet to make local talk sing. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. Based on my last video, you know I had to have some reason for making these things. And it's because I wanted to experiment with local talk since I've never used it before. So today, let's go all out. I want to see what it takes to get a much newer iMac to talk to a much older Performer 410. And then, for giggles, let's see if we can get the iMac to print to an image writer too. Here's the skinny. The Performer 410 only has serial ports, and the iMac only has Ethernet ports. But both of them support AppleTalk over the ports they have. So to get them to see each other, we need a translator called a bridge. In networking, a bridge is a device that allows different physical network types to communicate. You can do this with a device specifically designed for it, like Asante's Asante Talk or a Farallon Star Router. But the most accessible way for the modern retro enthusiast is using a Mac with both a serial port and an Ethernet port. In combination with a software extension called Local Talk Bridge, we get the magic we need to make a virtual golden gate. So let's go over everything we need to do to make these two old computers talk to each other. First, you need a Mac that has both Ethernet and serial ports. I'm using a PowerMac 7300-200 for this. We'll call this computer the host. To begin, you need to install the local talk bridge onto the host. Ideally, you should be running OS 8 or better. The installation is easy. Get the software to the machine, unstuff the extension file, and drop it onto your system folder, then reboot. Now you need to configure the local talk bridge, but there's not much to it. The defaults are fine for getting it working. Beware the Ides of Marchintosh. There are a couple caveats you have to watch out for. First, the host Mac should be online before any other devices, including local talk printers. Second, Apple Talk on the Bridge Mac has to be changed to use Ethernet. If you miss this, things might not work correctly. After that, you have to set up file sharing on all of the Macs. On OS 7, you set it up from the Sharing Setup control panel. In OS 8 and 9, you go to the File Sharing control panel. And in OS 10, you go to the Sharing option in the System Preferences. With that set up, you should be able to see shared files between all of the machines. Piece of cake! Now what does it take to get the iMac to print to an Image Writer 2? Well, the first important step is you got to make the Image Writer 2 local talk compatible. And that involves installing a local talk option card into the printer. Are we ready for the unboxing of this Apple Image Writer 2 LQ Local Talk Option card? In box, sealed, sealed in box craziness. Normally I wouldn't do an unboxing video, but it is absolutely nuts to find one of these that is sealed in in its plastic. So let's open it up. Oh, how do I want to cut the, well, I'll cut the plastic right there. Oh no, he's damaging the, the, the mint condition of the box, to which my response is, well, we want to be able to play with it and use it, right? So let's do that. Oh. oh, we've got a little bit of stuck there. Oh, look at that funky Apple logo printed there. We've got... One year hardware warranty. Do you think if I submit that one year hardware warranty, um, Apple will uh, actually like um, uh, value it? Because it's like one year from the date of the original retail purchase. Well, if this was in box, I could say that I retail purchased it just now. Anyway, um, yeah, special instructions for some image writer to printers. If the power socket is here, read the book. There is a, a specific process for doing this if you have what's called the side socket version. I do not. I have the back socket version or the leg socket version, so we don't have to worry about that. Local talk option, user's guide, schnifty. 
uh, Macintosh, uh, ImageWriter LQ, Apple Talk Disk. These are the, like the drivers for that, and that's awesome. We're going to need that. I don't know what version of Mac it works on, but we'll see. Little standoffs, and do, 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 do. Brand new in bag. Is it still? Yep. It's like perfectly done. Oh. Ooh, and it's an early one too. It's got a bodge wire on it. Sweet. I like weird things. So let's get this put in the printer. Now you need to install the software so the iMac can print to the image writer too. It's not hard at all. You just download and install the proper GhostScript package, then run the image writer 2 installer package. Well, they say that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Neither net works, and it is tasty pudding indeed. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on my latest adventures. You can also support me through Patreon or by snagging some merch at jcm-1.com. Links in the description. Well, that's all for today's episode. While you're here, check out some of my other videos, and remember, Marchintosh is all you need. Come <laughs> on.